Hello, today we are going to do a um, search engine optimization, which is SEO and uh, search engine marketing SEM. If you can't hear me, please leave leave message on the chat. So to get started, I need to go to uh, say go to www xml-sitemaps.com uh, We'll leave it on the chat so you can copy it. So there, that is the link to generate our sitemap. Now, sites uh, for you to register your business, uh, your website with Google, there will be need to generate uh, a sitemap first. Hello, please. Can you all turn turn off your your speaker and then your mic so everyone can hear me? Okay. So the first thing just as I said, you, you need to go to we need to generate a site map for our website. To do that, go to Um, on the page, just as you can have it here, here you are required to enter the website address. Um, okay, so this is our website address, netpreneur.com.ng. I need to enter it here. Now it will check change frequency. Uh, depending on how often you update your website. If you post things on your website weekly, make it weekly. If you post daily, use daily. If you post hourly, use hourly. If you post monthly, use monthly. So but I'm gonna use daily as frequency and then uh, oh, okay, use server response time. Priority, I use a uh, user automatically calculate priority. Uh, so with all those information feed, I have the URL, I have the frequency cap, and then I have the server time. And then priority has been set to automatic. Now I need to click on start. So it will go through the website netpreneur.com.ng and generate a sitemap. Sitemap are all the relevant URL available on the site which you will need to place at both in Google, Bing and other search engine so they'll be able to find our website easily. So while that is going on okay while, while that is going on we need to go to uh, google.com and search for Google Webmasters 2 this is it here we click on it You need to log into your Gmail account. So once you are logged in, to ask you, once you are logged in, to ask you to add property. Property here is your website address. That's what it means by property. So you're going to enter your complete website address here and click continue. So now it will require you to verify your website before you can move further. To verify that there are about um, 
basically two, op two options. The first one is to download this file here. So it will save it to my system. The next is usually to add um, what is it called? HTML tag, but this other option is a shorter, it's a shorter form. So I've downloaded it, you need to um, I need to upload this file into the website. To do that, if you don't know how to do it, you need to get your webmaster to help out with it because this file will be uploaded to the root directory of your website. So I'm going to turn off screen sharing for a moment so I can log in. I'm see with you, just hold on. Okay, right now I'm logged into my into the C panel. So I need to go to File Manager. Remember I said you can get your webmaster to do that for you. There is a website developer to do that for you. If you can't do it yourself, go to public HTML. Then I need to look for that. What's the name? Google, whatever. Okay. I need to look. Go to upload. Select it. Search for the... Oh, I think there are two. Okay, I think it should be this. Okay, it's uploaded now. I need to go back to Okay, I need to go back and click on verify. Okay, select. Sometimes I get a miss um, a check like this, a capture like this, so make sure you select the right so the select all images to store front. I think this has store front. This as well. Uh, okay, I think this is verified. It's verified now. Click select click verify. Wow. Says well says we weren't able to verify the property. Okay, let me see. Okay, like it wasn't proper uploaded. Okay, hold on, let me. I need to check and show it is proper uploaded. which is just trying to, sorry it was uploaded into the wrong, uh, what is it called, into the wrong uh, C panel, I need to update that now. I'm see with you. Okay, here we are back. I need to upload it to the right C panel. Through the same process, go to File Manager, uh, locate uh, public HTML, and then click upload.
Okay, I uploaded it. Let's see. Okay, I'm back. Let me try verifying it again. Okay, the file is there now. So I'm going to go back and verify. Okay, select images with with coffee. I think this one, this one, this coffee or something. Okay, verify. Okay, I click verify again. It says great job. Account has been verified. So this part is done. Uh, verif verify under property means if I want to verify uh, under website. All right, I need to continue. Okay. Go back to where Google will must start. So I need to sign in again. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting some error. Let me verify. Verify it. Not property. You choose a verification. Stop from again. Second registration has been done. They continue. So this is my dashboard. Yeah, luckily for me, even before, uh, I think this domain has been verified with another uh, Gmail account, another uh, Google Webmaster account. So because here you can see, I'm already getting clicks for now. Okay, so but once this is done, the next is to submit sitemap. So we need to go back to our sitemap we are downloading. Okay, we're generating. Okay, so here it's ready. Uh, we need to. There are several options. But our interest is on the uh, XML, which means we're going to download this. Okay, save it. Look at this. Okay, this is it. To place it somewhere in your computer where you can easily find it. I need to rename it because since I've generated before now, so it's showing there's an additional character to it. So I just need setmap, setmap.xml. Like there's another a similar file on the system. Hold on. I already have I have a similar file on this desktop. So okay, look at it here. I need to delete this. Okay, so before I can rename this. Okay, so right now here it is. I can go back to the sitemap and then click on sitemap here, submit sitemap and upload it. Okay, here I need to select add sitemap. But before adding it, I need to go to my C panel and upload the sitemap. I've I just generated. 
go back to cpanel again where i have so much tab open that change a lot and lot okay here i need to go back to i'm um, logged into the cpanel now i need to go back to file manager then locate public html then select upload select file i will need to look at that sitemap dot okay this is it here sitemap open you can upload it so i go back to to go back to google webmaster okay back to google webmaster remember what i need to add here this the system have selected the, the domain name which is nhpnl.com.ng slash what i need to add, add here just the sitemap name let's go to the sitemap this is what i need to add sitemap.xml so that is all i need to add because the site name is already there so i go back i've copied it and this is all i have to add after adding it i need to i can use test to find out if it's and then click view results so it's been added says uh, web pages 21 submitted so 21 was the total number that was submitted i need to add it right now so i try to okay okay submit the fresh page okay see here it says um a site map uh, uh, the site map dot, dot xml type site map process date is today being eight uh, submitted pending once it is indexed by google you see it the number of uh, pages it was as in this so far so that's that is the first process the importance of this is to ensure you that Google recognize your site and recognize every pages on your website. And if you have kind of a new site or other site, you upload new content, content from time to time, you may need to regenerate the site map from time to time to ensure that Google recognize and get the, see the fresh content on your site and be able to serve it to the audience when they are searching for related items. So with that, that of Google done, we need to go to uh, Bing because we need to submit the same sitemap to both uh, Yahoo and then um, Bing which is Microsoft search so you need to go to um, the same way go to search for um, uh, what's it called Bing Webmaster 2 so this is it here when you open it you need to log in you need to log in with your Microsoft account maybe Hotmail or live account be able to use it as well just as you need logged in with gmail account so here already have some other site before now so these are the sites i have before now to add new ones is easy and to add a url here as well to go back to copy okay so i need to add a url here this is it here then click add so with that added i also need to add the sitemap the sitemap is exactly the same sitemap i added to that of google i can copy it It says when do you receive most traffic to this site for your local time of the day so i just i the default is okay I need to select add oh sorry this is wrong i need to this is wrong i'm supposed to add the complete site okay so http okay yeah it's correct now 
and to add it. The same way I will need to verify that I have access or authority over the site. The same thing I did with Google here, I need to download this file and upload it to the website. Just the same way I did, same thing I did with Google. They all need one form of verification or the other to ensure you have access to the website. So you don't submit somebody else's website. Remember, because it's added some other character, which is this uh, five you must get the best for your search. So to go back to cPanel and click on File Manager again, it's loading. I need to locate public HTML and then upload to, um, the file on my desktop my desktop or whatever I've saved it, but I think it's on my desktop to search for it. I think it's being okay, this is it here and the dates. So okay, with that uploaded I need to go back. Okay here. Okay, let me verify if it's there. Yes, the file is there. So I can now click on verify. Verify here. Okay, so do that again so he can follow up. Okay, I need to go back to. Okay, this is the first place. You need to, once you are logged in, you're going to miss this screen. You need to enter your UR, the URL. The URL here is the website, the website address. This, for example, where is uh, Nespreneur? Okay. Okay, so that's this is the, add your site here and click continue. Once you click continue, it will bring up. Oh, you didn't repeat because I've already done. Okay, let me enter a site. What site is? Uh, okay, let me enter a fresh site that is not uh, probably not verified. So I'll be able to have option to show you. I need to go back to sites, my site. Okay, let me add this and see. Okay, fine. So this is a fresh site. So after once I enter the after I enter the website, I now had option to enter the site map. Okay, so now having entered this, uh, the site map in the, in the, will include the URL slash. Remember the the site map we generated before, which is sitemap.xml. That's what we use to so need to copy it and then uh, add it here slash sitemap.xml and click add once you add it it will require you to to download this and upload it into your cpanel account and then click here to verify that it's there in your site then you click verify with that you are good to go so that is how to upload your sitemap on both google uh, good, good enough, this part, this being actually take care of both Bing search and Yahoo search. So this, this, so with this done now, we've taken care of our about three search engine, which is Google, we did the Google before. This part we are doing with Bing now is, is taking care of both Yahoo and uh, Bing. With this, a site can be found easily on those three websites. Any question before we move forward? Remember that what we are doing right now is search engine optimization. We've done the basic. This is just the basic of the search engine optimization. Before we move on, if you have any question, I can take it. If not, I'll move on. Okay, somebody is asking what is the function of the sitemap? Okay, I think I need to show you what it looks like so maybe you understand. Here, um, okay, let me use, this is the HTML version. Now, what sitemap does is, this XML sitemap goes into your website to so search through your website and generate all the relevant links 
look at it. These are the various links on the website which is generated. So these links now will be sent to the search engine so that when the people are searching for items on the search engine, they will be able to find easily. The search engine will easily notice that, okay, you found this a similar link or similar item on your website and be able to serve it to the user. You are likely to be found easily on Google and other search if you have properly submitted your site map. Secondly, the search engine will indaze your site often faster if you have submitted than somebody who did not submit. This means coming into your website to search through, to scan through your website and see the relevant content you have, which can be served to the, to the audience who are searching for things relating to your products and services. So this important is uh, boring, but it's very important and is the key and foundation of search engine optimization. That's what it's all about. Uh, sorry, I might not be able to come back on a verification on the uh, Bing, uh, what is it called? On the, on the Bing, but the video will be made available on the forum, so you can always go back and run through that because we need to move forward. I've done that two times now, so I don't think it's right repeating it again, but the video will be made available. Any more questions? Okay, so with that, this done, uh, I would not like to go into other technicalities of uh, search engine optimization, but there are, I would just want to show you, I want us to go through the basics, which is easy for every, ma every layman to understand. First, search engine look at different things before um, serving the content from your website. One is the age of your site. Second one is the content, the quality content. Ensure you have, um, okay, let me see. Okay, let me use, um, let me use alternative advice for example. Go to the blog. Now, here, like this is alternative advert website. All about this website is online advertisement, online advertisement, online advertisement. So, search engine sees this website as an authority when it comes to online advertisement. So, if you go to uh, google.com and search for online advertising company, Aside from online advertising company or online advertising company in Nigeria. Okay, aside from online advertising company, you can see Alternative Advert is the second site after Wikipedia. And you can also see Alternative Advert on the left. This, this is on the map. We did it the last time. This is Alternative Advert on the map. This is Alternative Advert on, uh, on the search. So that is how it works. Now, the content, make sure you have we upload as much content as possible relevant to your website. That is why we advise if you have a corporate website like ours where you cannot just stuff items, try and create blog. And that's why I find out that so many most websites have blog here. This is alternative advert blog. When you go there, you find so many content. In fact, the blog has more content than the main website. Because in the blog, we can keep uploading content every now and then. Please, uh, can you all turn off your mic so that to avoid my echoing back to others, please? Okay, here on the, what is it called? This is the Alternative Advert blog. You can see here we have so much content. Here you can post as many content as you like go to your blog. But ensure it is relevant content. Like when you are searching for digital marketing, you can see digital marketing uh, online, different kinds of content. 
Because when the people are searching for content, Google will go to your website and see if you are actually an authority in that keyword. And that's where you find out that when you search for anything relating to what we saw, we searched before was an online advertising company. Uh, let me say online advertising in Nigeria. You see, find that alternative adverts is the number two and number three. It's always there because there are always relevant content here and there. Because, and then that's why it is important uh, you are, your authority in your own field. Somebody is asking, how do you create blog? Okay, there are two ways to create blog. One, you can get your developer to create blog as an addition to your existing website. Just as you can see, this is our main website. When you click on our blog, you go to our blog. You can create it as an additional. Okay, Chris, can you hear me now? Can you all turn your mic, please, so that some mic I see on. Don't worry, I've turned it. Chris, can you hear me now? Don't worry, I've turned glory. I've turned, I've turned, I've turned glory's mic off. Okay, now you can create a blog as an add-on, as an addition to your existing website. Just as I said before, this is our main website. And then when you click on blog, it brings you to our blog. And this is what our blog look like. Now, but you can also uh, create blog as a separate um, website, like uh, maybe using any of the free uh, blog uh, site like blogger.com or WordPress. And go to blogger.com, uh, create a Gmail account, and create your blog. Here it says, Create a blog. It's as simple. I think we might have to do. Oh, uh, if we do this, we might be able to do some other things today. <sighs> okay, I want to find out something. Um, so, if we go into creating blog, we might not be able to do other things today. Do you all agree to that? I want you to drop yes or no on the chat because our time is running out. If I go into this now, I might not be able to do other part of SEO. <laughs> one person said yes, but this is one out of uh, 13. Touch quick, okay, two, no, okay, we we'll have two yes and one no. Okay, somebody's asking, are we going to learn about it at all? Uh, okay, yes, under blogging. We can learn about it so good so let's leave it out there is another day for blogging i uh, might be the one to take it or some other person might take it but there's still room for blogging so we'll go back to that so please let's keep blogging but you can go to blogger or wordpress you can go to blogger or wordpress to create uh, create your your blog but it's very important because uh, this content you are posting will be we have and again when you are creating your content, let me just mention this now in case I uh, forget. When you are creating your content, when you are creating your content, either in your main, in your separate blog in Blogger or WordPress, or your blog within your website, make sure you always hyperlink. Like this, and you can see that this is hyperlink to various websites. This is hyperlink to one of our websites. Make sure you always hyperlink it to your website. To hyperlink is easy. This is what you do. Let's go to where's Word, Microsoft Word. Okay. This uh, let's assume that this is a message I want to post on the blog. And then this is the subject, and then this is this is the title, for example. This is the header. Now, for me to uh, for me to have a better SEO job done, I need to be able to hyperlink these keywords. Like what I'm posting is digital marketing and entrepreneurial scale. So what I need to highlight is I need to ensure, first I need to ensure that this 
digital marketing and entrepreneurship appears in more than one place in my website. You need to make sentence within your content, within the article you are trying to write. And then again, ensure you hyperlink it. The first hyperlink should include hyperlinking the entire sentence, entire uh, word, which is like this. You right click it. Oh, sorry. I think I need to. This is completely no. Okay. I need to select it, then right click it on Word and go to hyperlink. Here I need to enter the website address. I want to hyperlink to this assume. I want to hyperlink to Netpreneur, for example. Okay, I need to insert. This is uh, this is Netpreneur right now. So here you find out that it has been hyperlinked. But when I click this item and paste it somewhere, anyone who click places this course or here or click here will be automatically redirected to the Netpreneur website. Now having hyper hyperlinked the entire sentence, I need to hyperlink the individual keyword like digital marketing i have a link that as well okay sorry it's into ignore select this and then hyperlink it select this as well and uh, oh, no. select the entrepreneurial skill train as well and then hyperlink it So this is very important, but when you copy this into your website, it can happen like more than three, four, five places. This is very important for SEO because it helps the user, like when, if the user is looking for content on digital marketing, you can click on this and go there and find it. So it's very good for your SEO. It's very important. Now, having done this, another, okay, hyperlink, somebody is asking what is the meaning of hyperlink. Hyperlink means to, to link one word or another into another from one website to another. Hyperlink means to have to place a link from one website to another. Like you can see that uh, okay, let me show you something. Okay, like this is alternative advert blog. But if you see here, we, we place a link to another website. If you look look at the bottom of the page here on the bottom left. You see online advertising ng.com. Okay, let me let me click on it. You see, it was hyperlinked to this online advertising ng.com. So that's what hyperlink means. Linking from one website to another, from one link to another. I hope that is clear. So it's it helped the search engine to, to be able to navigate between one website to another. So it's very important to use it. Okay, so with that done, now this content, uh, there's another thing you also need to do. Make sure you um, you post content often in your blog, be it your standalone blog in Blogger or WordPress or another one you decide to use, or place or post content to other forums and blog. For example, we have. Um, what uh, Nispreneur has a forum which is um, I'm going to place it here on chat so which is uh, netpreneur.com.ng slash forum1 or forum so you can always go there create an account and post whatever you want to post so it's it's very important remember those the hyperlink you have though some of them some of the website will um, we scrap the hyperlink but some will retain it the one that retain it is very good for you but the one that scrap it don't worry ensure you have something like um, on beneath your content say write something like uh, for more information visit then you have the link link to your website Okay, somebody is asking post what on your website. Okay, fine. Um, for you to do well, I don't know if, uh, okay, who knows some of the most visited websites in Nigeria? I 
which someone says plain sand is disturbing. Oh, let me see. Google, okay, Google is okay. What the, Nigeria? Let's say local website. The most visited lo local website we have, Nigerian website. MMM. Okay, that is because people are going there to check, to uh, post things and all that. Others. Naira Land, Lindy Cage. Okay. Now, do you know why those websites has uh, Niger Pass and so on? Why those websites have high traffic is because people post fresh content. That when you go to Lindy Cage, as you've mentioned, people post fresh things every day. Go to Naira Land, there are fresh things. So search engine will always keep fishing those showing the users. Who are searching for one thing or the other, those fresh content. So ensure you write fresh content on your website every, if, even if you can't do it every day, but at least every week or two times in a week. I'll give an example. If you're into real estate, write content about real estate, the benefit of real estate, uh, how the real estate is doing in, in Nigeria, for example. Those things help keep make your site relevant. I need to, I'll go back to uh, alternative advert blog again. Here you can find that what we have here is all about um, digital marketing and finance. It's once in a while we see some others you can say what is uh, uh, Nigeria and four other countries to stop importing toxic fuel. It's all about finance, finance and business. Finance, business, finance, business, FG ban importation of vehicles through land. Just make sure you post things relating to, like, for example, we decided to post things relating to finance, business, advertisements, digital, on alternative advert blog. Some of that decided to, I can have a health-related. So you post health-related item on your blog. If your blog is all about education, post all about education-related content in your blog. But make sure you post something at least once a week, even if you can post daily. It's very important. Any more question? And again, aside from posting on your own website, ensure you post on other forum like uh, Netherlands, as somebody mentioned, Niger Power, uh, and, um, what is it called? Netpreneur.com.ng forum and other forums that allow you post. And the important place is your social media handles. The Facebook, the Twitter, and all that. Once you make posts, always place a link back to your website, like to read more, visit. Always include something like this. For more information, visit. Include the link to your website. Where it will be bringing lots and lots of traffic back to your website. It's very important. You get people will get to know your website by doing that. So those are the basics of SEO. I think which we, but some of us can digest for now. Uh, ensure one, ensure you have a blog, ensure you have submitted your sitemap. Secondly, ensure you post often. And again, aside from posting, doing a post on your own, let me check out, uh, say, um, Bella Niger. Also, leave comments on websites. Leave, when leaving comments on other, others' website includes when leaving comments on others' website include your, say, let me see, sorry, it's loading. Okay, so you go down to the comment area. Okay, like this is the room for, whenever you leave comment on a website like this, always include for my information visit. Somebody's asking if you can create a hyperlink by using href attributes in anchor text. Anchor tags, yes, it's possible. Some um, you can do that with some blog or some blog platform. You can do that, but it doesn't work in all. It does work in many. So since you know, already know that it's uh, it's good, so you can use that. One can one post on blog or website without. The permission of the owner. Somebody is asking if one can post on the blog and website, other people's website without asking permission. Yes, you can. You can post without asking. You don't have to uh, ask for permission. But you can only post on forums 
where you have an account. On other people's blog, we can only leave comments. You can always leave comments. Under the comments, like others are leaving comments, include link to your website. But to avoid the owner of the website um, deleting your comment, make sure your comment is relevant. This, for example, uh, this is talking about what is it? This, this is talking about Miss Africa, Great uh, Great Britain, or whatever. This is talking about pageant or what? Uh, Miss, what is it all about? Uh, Miss Africa, Great Britain, 2016. So this is talking about pageant. So let's assume it's news. If you are, uh, have news related to this kind of pageant or Africa, Britain, and all sorts of stuff, you can leave comments here, like and say, okay. Just leave your regular comments about this particular. Don't go off topic because the person might delete it. Don't go off topic in me posting. Make sure you post within the topic that I'm discussing about. At the end, you can leave a uh, for more visit our website. Let me check one other say like a premium times or punch. Okay, let me check premium times. Sometimes you find, though some can post rubbish as a comment, but you must not follow that. That I stand, always follow the, the rule. And make sure when posting, maybe try to post within the topics that are relevant to your field, topics that are relevant to your website, and then then leave link. So let me see uh, comments here. It's loading. Okay, I don't think this has comments yet. Okay, there's there's no, or maybe okay, there's no comments here. But some, like here, this is um, almost on all the news sites. You can actually leave comment. This is uh, what is it called? Premium Times now. You can always leave your comments here. Here at the end of the day, to ask you to add your name and, and maybe add your phone number by mail. Ad uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Your name you can use it. It must not be your real name. You can use another name, and I can use. But you need to use your real email address because you'll be required to verify this email address, and then leave your comment. Often, try to leave comment on as many websites and forums as possible. So that is very important. With this, we are done with the first part of SEO. We might revisit SEO sometime in the future, but for now, we are good to go. Any more? Any more comments? Any question? Okay, if there's no if there's no comment, I think we are done with this for for now, and because of time, we might not be able to take the SCM, that is search engine marketing. So probably next, first next week, we take search engine marketing and another topic. We are far, far behind schedule. So if there's no more question, uh, this video will be made available on the forum. Just as I said, go to the forum and leave your and create an account. I'm posting, posting it here on the on the chat. Go to the forum, create an account, and then leave your other question. If you have any other question, you can leave it, drop it on the forum. We will always be there to answer your questions, and then invite others to join the discussion on the forum, on the forum as well. So it becomes more interactive. Okay, so if there's no more question, uh, I think we draw the cutting here. Thank you for joining the training today. Once again, we are sorry for starting a bit late. We are actually trying to wait for those who are finding it difficult to connect. But today is a little bit, bit, bit better compared to last week. We hope that as they go by, it will be improving, having more people to be able to connect. We have so many people that signed up for this. I think maybe they're having issues with being able to connect uh, because actually webinar is new to so many and um, they, need, they need to adjust to be able to adapt to get used to it. Once again, thank you. Our next, I will be leaving, I don't know, I don't know if this weekdays is actually okay by all of us or we need to move one to weekend. 
but I need to leave. I need to leave the question on the forum, so I need your comment. I need your answers. Well, likely from next week, we might have one training within the week, and maybe another one over the weekend. Within the weekend, to accommodate those who are not able to connect and their work from their workplace. But I'm going to leave a question, the question on the forum, and get. I need to get your feedback on the top on the to find out what time it gave the date and time that will be appropriate for everyone. Once again, thank you for being part of the training.